coming up, make your own super flying helicopter. Have a lunch. Build one in your own backyard. Find out how your eyes really can be bigger than your stomach. And the secret to making a magic swirling star. But first, Taryn, do you know the best way to put your smelly old socks to good use? Mmm, gloves? Uh, puppets. No, you'll never guess. Nicole puts them over her shoes so her friends never hear her coming when they're playing hide and seek. This place is called Hide and Seek Forest. It's a super cool place to play this game. I love it. There's lots of different bushes to hide behind. I usually win because I have a trick. I put old socks over my shoes. And I can creep up quietly. Gotcha. <laughs> that was fun. I hope we can come back and play again tomorrow. Better take these socks off before Mum sees them. Hey, I wonder what these are. I've collected all this stuff on my socks. They look like seeds to me. Let's have a closer look. Wow, they are seeds. I'm going to plant them and grow my own hide-and-seek forest. In fact, I'm going to start right now. My dad's throwing out all this old junk. What have we here? This is an old sewing kit with lots of plastic spools. Let's see what else I can find. Here's a strong piece of cardboard. And a ball of string. I know exactly how to turn this trash into something useful. I'm going to make my own flying helicopter. First, I need to make the propeller. I'll draw a small square in the very middle of the card. Now the blades reach out from the square to the four edges of the card like this. I'm making them slightly wider at the edge. There! It looks like a cross. Now here's the tricky bit. Measure three centimetres along one side of each propeller blade. Mark the spot, then rule a line to the mark from the other corner of the square. Do this to all four blades so you get a pattern that looks like this. Carefully score along the four angled lines with the scissors. Now cut out the cross shape. Nearly done. There! It looks funky. I'll attach one of the sewing spools, making sure it's right in the centre of the square. Now I'll gently bend up each blade along the angled line. The last thing I need to do is wrap a long piece of string around the spool, like this. Place a pencil in the middle, and we are ready for launch. Hold the pencil in one hand, and pull the ripcord fast. Go, little helicopter! Whoa! It flies perfectly! As the propeller spins, the folded down part of the blades creates higher air pressure under the propeller, then above. This pushes upwards on our helicopter and makes it lift off. Take off! And it all goes to prove that one man's trash is another girl's treasure. Hey, that's brilliant. Time for me to give this helicopter a whirl. <laughs> Go for it, Dana. Meanwhile, let's get back to Nicole's garden and see what she's going to do with a smelly old sock. Stand by for my garden on a sock. I'll make this shoebox my garden bed. A plastic bag to make it waterproof. And lovely, mucky soil. I wonder if Mum will mind me planting my sock. Nah, she won't care. I'll start by loosening up my seeds. Give them a squirt. Don't worry, guys. This will all make perfect sense soon. To finish off, I'll tip some soil on top of my sock. Attach more water. 
And now I'll wait for my sock to sprout. More waiting. Hmm, I think this is going to take a little longer than I thought. Must be time to check my seed sock. Man, these seeds are taking their time. I'll leave them to it and come back later. <laughs> Walker and I are getting ready for a cross-country skiing trip. You never know what you're going to see on these trips. Last year we saw a huge avalanche. You sure wouldn't want to get trapped under squillions of tons of falling ice and snow like that. I wonder why avalanches happen. Walker doesn't know. Why don't we make our own avalanche and find out? I know just how to do it. First we get a board. That can be on mountainside. We know that each snowfall builds up layers of snow. So we'll use snow looking stuff to build up different layers. Sugar's white. That can be our first layer of snow. What else? Hmm, I know. Brown sugar. The next layer of snow can be flour. What else? Good one, Walker. Laundry washing powder. And finally, more brown sugar and a touch more flour to top it all off. I wonder how steep our mountain has to be before the snow will move. Let's find out. I'll lift one end of the board up slowly. Up. 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 And away. In nature, avalanches happen mostly on slopes steeper than 25 degrees. As Logan's plank tilts at a higher angle, sideways stresses increase until one of the layers gives way. Friction with all the other layers eventually causes the whole lot to come tumbling down, just as in a real avalanche. Good one, Walker. Cool avalanche. But we'd better clean up this mess, or Mom will be the one coming down on us. Always clean up your own mess, I say, or it could lead to a real downfall. Speaking of downfalls, I have to confess my downfall is thick, yummy, gooey chocolate cake. And I'm not the only one. Mmm, chocolate cake. Everybody's favourite. There we are. That's Billy Slice. What? Oh, he doesn't believe they're the same size. Measure all you like, Chucky Boy, but I know I cut them the same size. His eyes are playing tricks on him. And I'll prove it. I've got a sheet of pink paper here with a sheet of white on top. I'm going to draw a four-sided curved shape here on this piece of white paper. Now I cut the shape out with the pink paper held together with the white. So I get two identical shapes. One white, one pink. Now when I hold them up like this, Billy's chocolate crazy eyes are going to say the pink one is smaller. Thought so. But what if I swapped them over? Which shape is smaller now? The white one. Swap again. Now the pink looks smaller. This is called an optical illusion. It happens because your eyes naturally compare the two curves that are closest to one another. Because the curve on the right is longer than the one on the left, your brain is tricked into thinking the whole shape is bigger. Billy's eyes aren't the only things around here he can't trust. Bad luck, Billy. He should have kept an eye on his cake too. <laughs> Great Kimberly, Kimberly will soon be performing her latest, her latest, her most, most amazing, amazing magic ever. Please put your hands together for the world's greatest backyard magician. Thank you, thank you. Are you ready to be amazed? For my first trick. Ta da! <laughs> okay then, how about this one? <laughs> Done! Okay guys, don't go. Better come up with something good and soon. OK, for this trick, I need a star-shaped piece of paper, a straw, a toothpick and an eraser. 
Now I just put the toothpick in the eraser and then balance the stone on top of the toothpick. Now for the magic. For this, I need my plastic straw. Uh, I mean magic wand. Now without touching the star, I can make it turn around. Now they're impressed. What the boys didn't see was what I did behind the table. I was busy rubbing my straw in a woolen scarf. When Kimberly rubbed her straw on that scarf, friction caused negatively charged electrons to jump from the wool to the plastic straw. That gave the straw a negative electric charge. But the paper star was positively charged. So the force of attraction between the positive and negative charges caused the star to spin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oops, now I need to conjure up another audience. You know, I think Kimberly was the real star of that app. <laughs> yep, and I think Nicole's about to become a star gardener with the help of a few seeds and her soggy old sock. My seed sock must have begun to sprout by now. Cool, it has. Hmm, they're still pretty small. I'll leave them a bit longer and let them grow. Aha! Uh -huh. Look how much they've grown. I've got dandelions, grass, weeds, daisies. Wow! All this from a smelly old sock. Trees and plants reproduce by dropping seeds to the ground. Sometimes these grow where they are, or sometimes they are moved to different locations by animals, humans, the weather, and even sometimes dirty old socks. Come and see my garden, guys. It's cool. You'll never guess where it came from. All I did was put the sock with a bit of water and it grew. Where did everyone go? Oh, no. I've given away my own hide-and-seek secret. Oh, dear. Such a great secret and I've all run away and left her. Yep, and it's time for us to leave too, Taryn, because we've come to the end of another show. See, See you next, next time. time.